everybody, it's Rabbit, and welcome to my playthrough of Wild Arms. Oh my goodness, I have had the longest week ever, so I do apologize if I do not seem as enthusiastic and energetic as is typical for me. But just to recap where we left off previously, we ended up going to the photosphere and we took down the Demon Queen slash Lord Mother, so she's effectively banished from this world and will no longer pose a threat to Phil Gaia. However, some of her little minions, such as Lady Harkin and Zed and the others, are still alive. I actually think Al Hazad is still alive as well. So we do still have that threat there, and we will try to take care of that. Hopefully. I mean, we have no choice. Uh, but anyway, after taking out the Demon Queen, we did kind of all gather in Edelheid, and Professor Emma ended up formulating a group wherein she is the head. And yeah, now we are just trying to collect information on our enemies and figure out a way to take the last remaining foes down so that we can have a peaceful world that is not <laughs> constantly worried about what's going to be happening. And anyway, I always fucking do that. Um, just as one other recap, so something that I told you guys I was going to do off camera was amass the 10,000 gela necessary to donate for, I believe it's to shelter the homeless people of Edelhide. So we're going to come up here and make this donation to the restoration project. So we need to provide housing for the homeless. Would you please donate 10k gela? And absolutely, thank you. Now we can have people return to their homes. So obviously we will continue to check back, take care of that, just so that we're making a difference and getting Phil Gaia back to what it needs to be. I do want to come to the church because Jack has question marks over him. I'm not sure what that is all about, but I don't want to deal with it. And I think we should have enough money to sleep at the inn here, so we will do that. And then we're going to, oops. Get out of my way, you asshole. Then we are going to set our sights for some exploration. At this point in the game, there's not really any obvious direction for what you should do. I happen to know what I'm supposed to do because off camera, when I was grinding for everything, I did talk to some people and yeah. So, I mean, I guess, you know, it doesn't hurt. Let's talk to this guy. There's a way to get to, oh, just kidding. Go through the outer ocean to the east. You might find something there. So basically the main hint is that we need to get to the outer ocean. There was a huge sphere that fell into the inner sea. Surprisingly, there were no tidal waves. Perhaps the guardian of the sea protected us. And uh, let me see what people in the pub have to say. We don't know much about ruins in the outer ocean. And this guy's probably also going to say something about the Outer Ocean. The temple ruins aren't the only places where the guardians were worshipped. There are other sacred grounds. So yeah, basically the pro tip is we have to get to the Outer Ocean. And I'll pull up a map when we step outside. And you guys will get to kind of see what they mean about the Outer Ocean or the Outer Sea. So, okay, let me find my magic map. So we've so far into this LP kind of explored everything within <laughs> that little, I guess you could say circle of water that's like right beneath our little red blinking dot so everything that all the continents kind of surrounds we've explored that but we haven't explored the oceans or the water outside of this area so that's where we need to go next so obviously we're kind of blocked off i have no idea where our um earth golem is and motherfucker if i do that one more time so what i'm gonna actually do is i'm gonna go down to rosetta town and talk to some of the people there so just so you guys don't have to watch me navigating and doing any of the little mundane fights that will occur along the way, I will cut the camera here and we will resume recording when I am in Rosetta Town. So I'll see you guys in just a sec. Welcome back guys. So as you can see from our little blinking red dot, I was able to take us down to this continent that's more towards the center of the map and we are right outside of Rosetta Town. So let's kind of talk with the locals here and just see what they have to say about what's going on. So we need to get to the outer sea but as far as I can tell there's no way to really do that. And anyway she's saying this is the town of Rosetta. We know we've been here before and we have some problems here right now. What problems do you guys have? I would love to hear. Let's see. I don't remember where the fucking pub is. The best way to control crime is preventing crimes, not prosecuting criminals. Tell me now if you know of any strange activities. Okay, I will. Do you know why the cities along the inner sea are more developed than other cities? The outer ocean has such treacherous monsters that no one wants to live there. Okay, more shit about the outer sea. I saw the flowers that the elf girl is growing. They're beautiful. Why is our green world diminishing? All right, the pub, where people always talk. I saw it, the cold eyes of the dragon at the bottom of the vortex. Oh, okay. 
I don't care about the dragon. It's always the same. Dragons and monsters. How boring. The number of visitors to our town has decreased due to the dragon incidents. Okay, what are you guys talking about? Have you heard about the dragon in these parts? I think it's the guardian of the oceans that the sailors have been seeing. Most of the non-religious traders uh, stopped coming here. Okay, well, where the fuck is your vortex? We'll see if we can go talk to... I don't even remember her name. The girl, the elf girl. No matter what, there is no excuse for this town not to get trade. Well, I think a dragon is a good reason for people to not want to stop by, but maybe that's just me. So we'll go and see. Maybe she'll have something to say to us, and if not, we'll see if we can talk to the mayor, if there is one here. All right, Mariel says, thank you. All I can do is give you these flowers. Oh, so she gave us another small flower. Okay. The flowers Mariel grows. Oh, the flower Mariel grows is simple yet somehow profound. Okay. Well, nothing else from her. Just... More flowers, which is fine. You know, I like flowers. Probably not as much as most girls. That was never one of those things that I was like, ooh, I would really love flowers. I don't know, just not my thing. What now? A dragon? Busy town, this place. If everyone had a little more heart, things would be different. <laughs> okay. Okay, let, what the fuck? Kid, please, move out of my way. Father was looking for you. Not that I have anything to do with it. Oh, that must be the mayor's brat who was a part of all the torments that Mariel had to deal with. Okay, I think his house, ah, should be here. There you are, Mayor Hernandez. Do you know about the large vortex to the east of here? Yes, we actually saw it a while ago and there was some guy and he was like on the corner and he was looking at it and he was like, oh my god, I feel like I'm going to throw up, I'm so dizzy. But anyway, the strait that joins the inner sea and the outer ocean is where the guardian of the oceans, Lucadia, lives. The entrance to his lair is supposed to be somewhere nearby. Rosetta is suffering from a lack of trade. Ships come through here with reports of dragon attacks. Can you look into this matter on behalf of our village? Of course we can. So now we know exactly where it is that we are supposed to head. I am going to go ahead and save. Because why not? <laughs> we were able to get the information we needed. And we made the donation in Edelhide, so I'm not going to even fuck around. We'll just save from here. In case anything happens, we can just start from Rosetta and continue. So I'll show you guys exactly where that vortex is. So let's run up together. Hopefully I won't get caught by monsters. And I legitimately... Oh, so, okay, first of all, there's a little vortex. We've seen that before. So we're going to go and look at it. But as I was starting to say, I legitimately don't know where our fucking earth golem is. So, like, I don't know if we're supposed to find him eventually or if it's okay that he's gone. But after we took out the photosphere, there was no mention of him at all. So, I don't know, guys. Hopefully he's okay. He should be. He might just be over where the photosphere is slash was so we'll check it out later and yay an antidote can never use too many of those so okay let's cecilia says the teardrop shines and all right i guess that means we found where we need to be wow this is incredible lucadia the garden of the guardian of the ocean is contacting me through the teardrop it's so strong i can feel it with my entire body it's saying I understand, Lucadia. I'll use the teardrop. What? What's happening, princess? Bartholomew says, Wowee! What is this? The mystery spot? <laughs> Bartholomew, you crazy kook. Alright, are we going anywhere or what's up with this? Ooh, so it teleported us inside. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. So I guess let's just start exploring and see what there is to be seen. I'm sure there are plenty of treasures and trinkets for us, guys. So we will make use of all of our time and try to scour this entire dungeon. All right. And I love the music here. It's just so peaceful and, I don't know, just very beautiful. I would say in general this game's music, though, just amazing. Although it's rare for me to find a game where I don't like much of the music. And hmm, I wonder if we are not where we are supposed to be. So let's go back and we'll try that other, that other side. Although I guess I could have attempted to push those blocks, but we'll come over here first and just see. 
Okay. Oh, look, treasure. So a magic carrot. Oh, we haven't really been using these too much, but you know, you can never have too many. And a lucky card. And, oh shit. <laughs> For a second I was thinking, are we even going to get into fights in here? We've just been kind of roaming freely. And depones? Uh okay. Let's see if the depones have anything in them that's worth pilfering. So yeah, how are all of you guys doing? Oh, an aqua ring? <gasps> uh, yes. We will be trying to steal these then. Sorry, Rudy, you need to switch focus. Jack will attack that, and Cecilia will attack that guy. But yeah, as I was saying, my week has just been kind of long. Not really terrible, but it's definitely been busy. I don't know, just the whole training process with this job has been a pain in the ass, and oh, I've been working 35 to 40 hours a week, just, you know, just thrown in, and I haven't really received as much hands-on training as I think really should be standard for this kind of job, but, you know, it's fine. In a way, I take it as a compliment. I guess they feel as though I can work independently and teach myself everything that I need. I, I don't really know what their rationale is, but it's been really busy and I've just kind of had a sink or swim mentality and yeah, that's just how it's kind of been. But, you know, it's good. <laughs> it's good for me. It keeps me on my toes and I don't know. Should we go this way? I don't think we can get down to the other side. But whatever. Okay, so here's where we just were. Did we miss a door or I, I don't know. Um, let's see. How do we get by? It looks like we can push these, but I might, <laughs> I might be fucking with this for a while just to see. Can I push you? Can I get through? Oh no, I don't think this is the way to do it. Or maybe it is. Woohoo, guys! <laughs> for a second I was like, oh shit, I don't think I did this right. Oh, there's a save point. So maybe this is not where we're supposed to be, but we will go ahead and save while we are inside. I probably need to stop <laughs> showing you guys me saving, don't I? Oh, and I forgot. Let me show you guys what the aqua ring says. Okay. So let's check that out really fast. So the aqua ring, a power of water. So I think it's like the thunder rings that we have, although I've been really bad and I have not used them at all. So it is what it is, but let's go this way. I don't quite want to go in the direction of the save point because I imagine that's gonna lead us where we need to go. And I ain't trying to hear that. So let's go this way. And continue combing our way through this shrine here. Oh my gosh, a naga. It's really fucking creepy. But hopefully they've got something neat on them. Maybe more aqua rings. I had been intending to sell the thunder rings because they're like, I think it's 9,000 gela. Maybe not quite. It's, <laughs> it's been a while, guys. I think it's been about 10 days since I recorded for this. Maybe not quite. Maybe more like 8 days. But when you're playing 3 games at once plus trying to do your own off-camera fun time. It's hard to keep track of everything. And I don't know, did Jack steal anything from this bitch? I don't think he did. So let's see, Jack, what can you get, my friends? Oh, has nothing. Okay, well then that's why he didn't get anything. There's nothing, <laughs> nothing on them. Alright. Come on, Rudy. And we'll just do one round of physical attacks to take her down. Okay, so let's keep going. And now I don't even really know where we are, guys, but let's see. Oh, what the fuck? Ooh, nice, what do we get? <gasps> fuck yes, a crest graph. Although I think we have all of Cecilia's um, normal spells bound already. But you know what? It's still good to go ahead and get as many of these as we can. Oh my gosh! An aqua leaper. That's so adorable. I quite like frogs, which I guess is kind of bizarre because most of my friends are always like, oh, frogs are so gross. But I think they're really cute. And a potion berry. Not the best thing we could steal, but totally worth it. 
So we should be able to take this very disturbing looking Naga down. And I'm really surprised. So far the monsters in here aren't that tough. I, I really am shocked by that. I was expecting this place to be a little bit more challenging, but so far not really. But it could also be that we are up maybe a little bit too high on levels. Who the fuck knows? But let me see if I can... Oh, yay! And a level for Rudy. Jack got one a couple of fights ago. And... Oh, my God. Every time, guys, I do this. But, yeah, we have plenty of antidotes. Let me go ahead and give this to Jack, just so he's not feeling the burn here. And let's use Cecilia just to heal everyone up, because why not and what the fuck? Okay. Alright, so I'm going to push this block here. We better get something good from this. Somehow I foresee that these are going to get more challenging as we advance. Alright, be something good. Oh, it's a crest graph. Okay, well, you know, we'll, we'll fucking take it. So let's continue and go down this path. See what is in ya. Oh, shit. Okay. So, let's how do we want to do this, guys? I think... Oh, man. This might not be... Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was, like, psyching myself out. And so I'm sorry if I'm a little bit quiet. I'm trying to concentrate. And we will grab... Oh, another crest graph. Fuck yeah. We will take it. The more crest graphs, the merrier... You guys know I'm not going to complain about finding these. Okay, so Cecilia is kind of dead. Uh, one of the Nagas fucked her shit up. It was not intended, and I feel very terrible <laughs> about that outcome for Cecilia. But hey, that's okay, Cecilia. Just dust yourself off and get up and get out there and be somebody. All right, let's quickly... Oh, fuck. Really? Okay. So let's see how we want to do this. I don't quite want to... I want to be able to still get by. Push that one. Oops, I better not fuck that up. We'll do this one, and then... This one. And we got another treasure chest. <gasps> A shining cape. Ooh. Oh my god, if I do that one more fucking time, guys. Let me actually just quickly go and see who can wear this. And Cecilia, and that is quite a nice improvement, so we will take it. And actually, guys, we are about up on time, so when we come back together on the next episode of Wild Arms, we're going to continue making our way through this shrine, hopefully meet up with Lucadia, who is, I guess, some sort of dragon water god, and see what the fuck is up with him and why he's fucking with all the ships trying to get to Rosetta Town. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Rabbit, and I will see you in just a moment.